Hello, welcome back. So someone said the game looks ultra simplistic and there are not many activities. Well, let me disagree a little bit. So I think we have enough iron to craft the iron tools. So we'll do that. Oh, the watering can is my biggest enemy. Hmm. Well, I guess we can fish a little bit. I'm not sure how that works right now. And also craft the sword. Oh, wow. We are out of basic resources to craft those things. And you can also switch the tools. Very easy. This is not one of those games where tools have durability. You just have to switch them around. And as you can see, the difference between some of them is very big. This is a fast speed. This is a high speed. So even though it seems like this does a lot more damage, it's not really a lot more damage. It's just a little more damage. But this one is a bigger upgrade. Because you can go from a little... I mean, basically it means you'll be able to hit stuff one or two less hits. The biggest change is of course the Iron Pickaxe. Which is much better, as you can see it's 9 to 11. Versus 6 to 8 and speed is actually on average now. Well, I guess I would need another quick slot. I forgot where we can fish. Well, I guess we can play a little bit with it. <laughs> also, now we have abilities. So let's go into the cave. Which is one of the more interesting mechanics of the game. I don't know why the game lagged over there. Because this allows us to collect a lot of other resources like iron ore, coal, some gold here and there and some other things. Hmm, that's a pretty nice sword. No, so this is where we will find our first batch of enemies, the little ones and the big ones. And the game also allows you to change your tools as you enter it. Now, I explored most of it in the beginning, so we'll not go over the basic ones. So let's just go to the more interesting things. Yes. You didn't see anything. <laughs> Also, we'll get some gears over here, and with one coal, you can also light these things. So, as you can see, you're basically preparing yourself for more of the game to unlock. I think we'll be able to reach the ancient city uh, probably in this video. Oh yeah, that's much faster. Also, we need a lot of mushrooms because currently we're not planting anything, we're not using any crops. So I guess we need a lot of resources that we can just pick up from the, you know, ground. And I like this progression. I mean, the more you go into the caves, the more lights you turn on and the more things you find. Some of them which will be very hostile to us, by the way. Also, the light heals you from what I remember, so it's not only a cosmetic thing. Achievement unlocked Void Hunter. I guess we're full of stone, yeah. I should make a stone deposit at home, but I'm too lazy. We will do the stone deposit in a bit. For now, let's just collect all of the resources we can get and see the city. <laughs> he jumped into the attack, that was hilarious. Ah, 
Uh, it's so quiet over here. Oh, this is only rock, okay. So I think this is just another alternative way down there. Well, we have 19 coal. I guess we can light everything on fire. And that's just a loop around over here. <laughs> this looks very nice. We are ready to explore more of this beautiful place. Now the FPS over here is very stable and very nice as opposed to the rest of the game sometimes. So I never really explored the entire underground city so at some point we'll just find a much stronger enemies and also more interesting loot. But for now I think we should just, you know, loot everything we can and when you go up to the surface we can invest some of these resources into getting better gear and maybe advancing to, a next, to the next tier. Is nobody's home. I guess that guy got bugged. Okay, that one was a little harder. So as you can see the game does have a good progression system and as you, more, as you go deeper into this mine you'll start to see more and more disturbing things because you're not just surviving over here, you're going to fight against the void itself. Which doesn't sound particularly fun at this point but trust me it will be fun. Oh yeah, oh let's destroy this for more gears. I forgot what we can do with those. I think you can craft some items. Oh, that looks like a dangerous little area. Sure. We can go and have a look. And at this point, everything looks and seems dangerous to me. And also, by the way, we're getting experience while we're doing this. It's not just uh, for fun over here. I should some some gold over here or whatever that was. And I want it. Yeah, we have to destroy this, and otherwise, we'll just keep coming. Okay, and I think we have reached the lost city. Congratulations! Wow, this is a little better from what I remember. Okay, let's harvest all of these and then we'll go deeper. And as you can see, this just continues going and going and going until you need much better gear to progress. Ah, come on, don't bother me. Hmm, okay, so that's just stone. Okay. 
Okay. Let's visit the ancient city. And I think this is only the first level or the first possible one. You can of course farm this for experience, but at this point, I don't think it's really that important to farm them. Oh, I need an extra toolbar. Oh, I need three points for that one. I want an extra toolbar slot. More health? Oh, okay. Free revive? Hmm, some of these things will also be good. Yeah, let's just continue moving. It's also strangely quiet, right? Until it's not quiet anymore. Hmm. This is new. Can I pass it? Uh... I changed my mind. Let me out. Well, that's not going to go well. Yeah, I don't remember this part over here where we get simply swarmed by all of those creatures and none of them are happy to see us. Oops. Well, I guess they did make it harder because beforehand I remember you could kite them and do something else, I don't know, but now it seems like you just have to fight them the fair way. And they don't play fair. Fair as in you have to play fair, but not fair as in they play fair. Okay, let's craft that. Uh, sure, I think the next step we need to do is upgrade the workbench. Yeah, cutting trees is a lot of annoying. Cutting trees is one of the more annoying parts of the game because you don't really have a lot of trees everywhere, so you just have to Hit one at a time and pretend you're going to be happy. So I think they removed some point of interest because I remember kind of a vineyard or some kind of thing on an island. Hmm, I don't know. We'll just have to see. So yeah, enjoy some more wood cutting like you never have seen before. I mean. What's a game these days without cutting? So note, we get more experience if you cut trees. So this is one of the things I like about the game. Whatever you do, you get experience. So even manual tasks like this will help you level up. So I guess people who enjoy building, base building and other stuff will be happy about this. Yeah, that bush never had a chance against me. Okay, I need that. No, no, it's okay. So, upgraded to level 2 fireplace, melt a raft. Oh, I think, yeah, we have unlocked the raft. Now, I think we need the spear to fight those enemies. Smashing time. Or when the damage gets too much. Indeed, it does get too much sometimes. So I guess we can set sail for an adventure. We can also smell some things.
Precious metals and gem. Fireplace. Well, I don't remember if I really need the fireplace. Hmm. I guess we could simply build a raft and then say it's okay. I think I want more adventure because at this point I'm kind of stuck. Looks like... I could go further into the mines, but that will not be a fun experience. Because at my current level, I don't think I have enough HP and you... I mean, you do have to wait a little bit before you will get better gear, so let's just harvest more resources and then... Leave the island, maybe for shinier and brighter places. Yeah, that was uh, some quick wood cutting. So at this point you should make a rock, a stone and a wood cutting thingy. Yeah, that's not really efficient. So every time you go on an adventure you put all of the wood and all of the stone in it. <laughs> I never really understood. I was watching a lot of cartoons when I was younger and everyone yelled Timber on the Chiefal. I never understood why. Can't say I understand right now. I guess it's just yelling because they want they want to warn people that a tree is falling and they are saying it so people watch out. But why Timber? I guess it's meant as a thing for wood. Okay, actually, you know what? I think I want the spear because... Oh, but... Mm, yeah, like, sadly we just have to unlock the planting and some other things because we have seeds and... That's probably the only way to get more uh, food. Or get f the food we need actually because we don't really have a lot of it. Oh, I even forgot about this. So the sands will actually help you navigate a little bit. So they're actually useful. Well, I guess I should start building the planters, but will not build a lot. Pear seed? What do you mean a pear seed? I guess we also need the pumpkin seeds. It's kind of weird I cannot build more over there. Ah yes, watering your crops, the annoying way to do it. Can I sleep until it's morning? Probably we can. If I remember correctly, we need the well. <laughs> and that needs, guess what? A lot more trees. At this point, our island will be turned into a barren, uh, barren human made uh, disaster. Well, sorry about the same. I got all of the wood I could have gotten, so there's no way to avoid all of the farming. Oh, it's been 20 minutes already. Nice. 
I guess the game is fun in the beginning because you are unlocking more stuff and you are exploring and you are doing a lot of things. Yeah, let's just build a raft and set sail on an adventure. Because the boring... The boring side of the game will just have to wait a little more, which is farming. At least they grow in pairs, so getting fiber is not so hard. Okay, where is that raft? Well, I hope I don't have to repair it. I guess we can also try fishing before we leave. Oh. Hope it's not a mini game. Oh, it's a mini game. Well, that was a sad one, so we have to always keep an eye out on the little thingy, okay, but if there's a tree in our way, it will block it. But that's a swordfish over there. Very, very quiet, oh. Oh, come on, what did I do wrong over there? I guess you have to really, really wait, because not all of them will glow like that. Okay, succeeded in fishing and guess what, I didn't even get a fish. That's so mean. Okay, that's annoying, but the fishing mini game is very interesting. It's not bad as in other games, you just have to be super careful. It's not going to be one good, one bad. It's truly randomized. We have caught even the swordfish. Very large aggressive fish found in the ocean. Well, that's not really an ocean. Hmm, I wonder where we can, where we can find those. No, fishing. Oh, did the fishing spot just disappeared? <laughs> okay, this is so much fun. I guess you can go and harvest all of the barrels. And this is the fun part of the game. As you can see, it's a sailing game. Is that only on land or only using teleporters or cave systems? You can also just sail all over the place. This over here we have a lot more bushes because we destroyed the berry population at home. I guess we can harvest some clay because we don't have any more clay at home. I'm not sure at the despawn rate for the resources but as you can see you just have to go further and further to get them. 
That was a bottle. Okay, I am beginning to like the game a lot better than it was in the initial stages. Okay, they fixed the problem. So as you can see, we no longer have to rely on stupid cooking and farming. We can just roam the islands. I think you can also fish over here uh, sometimes. Okay, I think I just want more points so I can have another action bar. I don't want to make anything else smaller. Oh, I need to go all of the way over there. What is this one? So, this is uh, how much money we have. This island didn't have much of interest to me. That one looks a little more interesting. I guess we'll go and visit that island then. Then I'll, then I'll end the video and we'll continue next time exploring. Oh, and I guess one of the reasons to go out in the oceans is because you have a lot more fishing spots. Probably we can fish straight off the raft. I don't hit that one. Doesn't appear to be very hard to navigate this thing. Well, it's a lot better than in Valheim, I can tell you that. Probably later on it will get a lot more scary because we might be able to visit some very, very far away locations. I guess we're getting a lot of glass, if nothing else. And I think these are roses. Oh, it's another pear tree. I guess we just have to cut it down for the seeds. Okay, so that makes it worth it. So I guess you just have to go to other islands, collect the trees and plant them back on your island. Okay, I saw something interesting over there. We'll check it out in a second. Yeah, we need probably a lot of clay because I think we'll have to have a farming empire as well. Because remember, even though farming is not really necessary anymore, you still need a lot of farming plots to produce items and sell to the town. That was a barrel filled with scrap to the brim. Wait, can you forget where? Oh, okay. So you have a clear picture of where your raft is all the time. I think we might be able to deposit the clay and um, thing back at home. I'm not sure. You can also find gems when you dig out stuff like that. We only have one for wood and one for stone for now. To be honest, I don't really want to build a big house or anything like that because it just keeps you... Vines. It just keeps you busy with all sorts of nonsense, so at some point you just have to, you know, say, hey, no nonsense. First of all, gameplay and then decorations. Hmm, interesting. 
So I guess exploring all of the islands will be very important for you to get all of your seeds, all of your resources and other stuff as well. Okay, so after this I just have to go back home and, you know, build some of the other stuff that we have currently over here and I'll start farming. <sighs> New land has been discovered. The map seems pretty big, especially because you can go very very far away in one direction. But, for now we shouldn't really go too far away. Well, fun. That was fun. See you next time. Bye.